Hello, this is the Real Force 87U 10 keyless keyboard. It's made by a company called Topre, T O P R E, which is short for Tokyo Press. And uh, it's made in Japan. One of the great things about this keyboard is that it has a nice tactile feel, yet it doesn't have a clicky, clicky loud noise. Let me type on it so you can get a sense of what that sounds like. Coming from my favorite keyboard, the IBM Model M with buckling spring technology, which is very, very clicky, um, this keyboard is kind of nice because it's um, very smooth and um, does not click at all, which is nice when I listen to my music through my computer speakers or podcasts. It just makes it a little bit more pleasant that I'm not having to fight with myself typing in hearing the music. When I type on this, I can hear my music even played at low to moderate levels. got a little bit of a click, but certainly nothing near uh, the real loud clickiness of the IBM Model M. Another thing that I really like about this keyboard is it's very low profile on the desk. As you can see, it's uh, pretty nice and thin. Um, I generally don't like keyboards that sit high up on the desk or, you know, that are very tall. And this one is a nice low profile keyboard. Uh, it's got an industrial build quality, so the base of it is, uh, you know, quite heavy and sturdy. Uh, and uh, as are the keys as well as, you know, the key switches. Topre makes key switches for industrial environments, um, you know, such as, you know, airline ticket booths and, and you know, uh, factories and, you know, things like that. Um, the key switches are rated for, I think, something like 30 million key presses or something, so it will last quite a long time. I got the version with uh, a uniform key weighting across all keys of 55 grams. Uh, they have a version that has variable key weighting. Some of the keys have heavier uh, key weights than other keys, and that's supposed to be ergonomic. However, in practice, um, I think that for me that would be a little bit weird coming from an IBM Model M. Because the IBM Model M has you know, a pretty tactile feel, I wanted something um, also that was going to be tactile. And um, also, have, I like the fact that it just has uh, you know, the even key weighting across all keys. This is my new favorite keyboard. Just because it feels so cool to type on, it's almost like a Mercedes or something. Very smooth, and it's also, again, very quiet, and I do listen to my music quite often through my speakers, um, which is, you know, nice to uh, not have to hear real loud clicks while I'm listening to music. It also comes for gamers, it also comes with some lavender, four lavender keys um, for some of the keys here, like WASD, um, you know, for na navigation on games, and it also comes with a red escape key. I did not install those just because I generally don't like the look of those. But if you look at other YouTube videos, most people do tend to install those, um, you know, especially if they're gamers. The lettering on the keys is sort of like dark gray on black, so it's, you can't see it in this video. Um, and in, in fact, the lettering on the keys can be a little bit hard to read unless you have really good natural light or a really bright light in the room. Uh, in practice, I don't mind that because I'm a pretty good touch typist and um, don't really have to refer to the keys that much. So, um, you know, it's not too big of a deal. I'm on OS 10 and um, I was able to remap uh, most of these keys how I like them, except not the Windows key. For some reason, in OS 10, if you map uh, the Alt key, it won't let you map the uh, Windows key with the built-in, you know, uh, keyboard preference pane, control panel. Um, so just like on my IBM Model M, what I've done is I've made the Caps Lock key my option key. And then, you know, the Alt key is my command key, uh, just like on a Mac keyboard, and then the control key remains the same, the control key. Um, so in practice, that works very well because it's the same as my IBM Model M. And if I want to switch keyboards, I simply can, you know, remove the, this keyboard, which is USB, just unplug it, and I can, um, you know, plug in my IBM Model M um, and don't have to change anything in the system or anything like that. It just works. And all the keys will, you know, sort of be the same. So again, this is the Real Force 87U. It's a 10 keyless keyboard. You'll notice on the right there's no uh, separate number keypad, which I really like. Um, I've mentioned in other prior videos, I really do like that because it brings the mouse in closer to your body and it's much more ergonomic when you're using the mouse and the keyboard. Um, rather than have a number keypad, which would take up several inches on this side, then your mouse would have to be way over here. So you're having to reach much further and it's just, you know, extend your arm that much further. It's much nicer to have it closer in. And uh, I don't miss having a separate number keypad because, you know, it still has the numbers up here. And on a PC, it even has uh, an embedded number keypad in the QWERTY buttons, too, which you can access by pressing number lock. On the Macintosh, unfortunately, that does not work. But again, I don't miss uh, having that 
because generally I use the numbers up here on the number row. It has your full assemblage of F keys on the top as well. And again, it's an 87 uh, key keyboard. So, just a short uh, overview of the RealForce 87U keyboard with Topre keys. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Thanks a lot for watching.